Yo, what up guys? This is Torsten, and here is 9 steps to make your loop station performance much better. <laughs> Step 1. You need to get your output level up to 11 o'clock, around there. The input level needs to be as little as possible, so you don't want it to peak like this. And um, right here is really good. Step two, you want to use global effects on your loop station to get everything to sound tight. And uh, the first thing you do is go in memory right here, and then you use the arrows to come over to uh, compression. And uh, when you get your loop station from the start, you, it's on minus 20, and you want it to be at minus three, then your sound will be much more tight. Then if you press error again, you get to reverb. And it's really nice to have reverb on every track on the microphone. So um, so it sounds more like everything is in the same room. I found out like three or five percent is really good. So it sounds like this. It's really like just a little bit, you can, some some of it you cannot even hear, but it's just uh, quality. Step three is to get every track on free mode. And what you do is you go in edit mode on uh, track one, and then you uh, press it until you come to measures. And uh, when you get the loop station from the start, it says auto, and that means that the first thing you record in the loop station is gonna be the same measure on all the other tracks and you don't want that you want to have freedom to do all the creativity you want so you put this on free and uh, then you press on edit and it will be autom automatically on the same thing and you can do the same thing with every track so like this if i record like a beat like this Then I can record it double as much on the other track, like... And it will not be a problem. Step four is clearing tracks as fast as possible. And uh, for this, you need to update your loop station to 2.0. And uh, how, how you do this is you go into the system and you uh, use the arrows and then you will get to this and it says all clear and you need to make it from disable to enable uh, and the same with this quick clear enable and then if you um if you make a beat and then when you stop it you just instead of holding for two seconds you just press two times and you can clear a track really fast. The same with... You just press all start and stop and it will clear everything automatically. And then we uh, come to step five, which is uh, you want to make your effects personalized. When you get the loop station from the start, you have effects on like flanger, lo-fi, and delay, uh, and stuff like that. And first of all, I want to talk about a really uh, specific effect, which is called dynamic. And you can find it in here. Um, there it is. You can go in and press the arrow, and then you come in to uh, its effects and its type, for example, on this effect. And then you have a lot of different compressors. And uh, I use this effect to make my beatboxing sound as loud as possible. And I found out that uh, live compression is the best one. And um, you can hear the difference here, like this is without. And this is with. First of all, it's all about finding every instrument. And if you're thinking, uh, okay, I want drums. Okay, I want drums on track one. Then you're 
need this the, the dynamics already you have that already so it's like then uh, for the most of the times you want bass and uh, you can find uh, this effect called guitar to bass and um, it just octaves your own voice so you can be like And for um, high melodies, I use reverb, and it's the last effect. And you can make your self sound like this, and then you can go in on the arrows, and you can uh, switch it up. You can switch the time up, and you can go in here, switch the direct level, which is uh, the effect you're putting in the mic, and the effect level, which is the effect itself. And um, then you can use uh, like your siren sound and you can be like right and now when when you have the input effects right the uh, as you want it you can go in and you can uh, choose track effects a first of all a, a really popular effect is a filter and uh, if I record a beat, it uh, will sound like this. <laughs> and um, here you can <laughs> personalize this effect too. So you can, uh, what I do and how I find out to make it sound really good, you just crank the rate down and uh, crank depths depths down, and uh, the resonance needs to be like at 13, and then it's much more tighter and it doesn't make uh, it doesn't peak and it doesn't sound too distorted. Then when you have this one, you can go on B. And then the uh, effect I use a lot uh, is uh, beat scattering. And there is uh, four different uh, parts of it. There is part one, which sounds like this. And there is part two. I use uh, part four a lot, which sounds like this. And then we have part seven, which is really easy thing. Uh, you just go in on every track and um, you um, you find this called panning and uh, it's, it, what it basically do is it takes every sound uh, every track and put it on the right side or on the left side and it's good to make a good mix for a track so if you had have drums on the first one And you have bass for the second one. And you have uh, like a violin. Then you can use if it feels like every effect is like the whole track is like too crumby or too muddy, then you can use panning to uh, make it sound more tight. So you have these two effects, and you just pan them out. And it sounds like this. And then we have the last part, which is about making patches. When you feel like it's like ready to, to make everything you want, then you can go in and you can uh, press write, write it, and then press again. Then you ha have it, the same patch every time you go in. And this is on 4, so then you, you, uh, you gotta remember where it is. 
And a good way to uh, remember it is to go and uh, call it something. So you go in memory, and then you go for the left arrow, and then you can go in and call it something like uh, banger or something. Like this. Okay, for this one we just call the bang memory, right? So this is how I set up my loop station. I hope that my tips has been useful and uh, I hope that you can make some crazy beats with your loop station in the future. And uh, I'll see you.